Hey guys, welcome back to yet another episode of Fat Bass's TV. Today, we're in the garage. We're gonna be making some freaking sweet baits. I'm just gonna show you guys the back of this. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. It's one of Columbia's finest products. Just kidding. It's gonna go into the bait and we're gonna see if we can make something super sick. I don't know if I've ever seen it done before. So let's shut up, let's get to porn right after this. Alright guys, so we have our beaver here, we have our 6 inch Cinco mold ready to go. We have our Plastisol that we're getting ready to dump in the cup and heat up and uh, I'll see you guys when that's done. Alright guys, so timer just went off. I believe it should be somewhat gelled. Let's move our crap out of the way here. Where's the handle? There it is. See, she's a little liquidy but we need to stir it up here. Right now it's in a gelatin form. You guys can see it's it's hot, but not hot enough. But we need to go ahead mix our powder in here, and I'll go ahead and tell you guys what it is because I've never ever ever seen this done before. So this would be freaking cool if it if it works. And if it doesn't work, well we tried. But I'll go ahead and tell you guys what the the, the concoction for today's video is. So thank you, here we go. Boom. Art and Glow. Glow powder. Uh, it's going to be some aqua color here. I'll, it's night outside, so I'll go ahead and I'll show you guys. Go out here. Into the dark. Look at that. That is going to be freaking sick in a bait. Will it not? Like, it will be dope as hell. Imagine just throwing that at night. These fish are going to go berserk. Anyways, and back into the light. And there she is, back to white again. So with that being said, let's get ourselves a couple teaspoons of this, throw it in the in the old mixture here. Alright guys, so we have our salt added in here already. Let me go ahead and move you guys a little closer here. So I believe you guys will be able to see it right there if it's focused. Come on camera. There we go. We have it right here. Let's go ahead and open this bag roll up with all this powder. We're going to put in, let's say, three teaspoons, or three eighths teaspoons here to start, because I don't want to over, I don't want to overdo it. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. This stuff is really expensive though, guys, so for this little eight ounce bag, it was... For this little eight ounce bag, it was 10 bucks. So, we don't want to be too crazy with it because that would suck. But anyways, let's go ahead and mix her on up. Hopefully she stays somewhat clear. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen, but let's see. Throw her back in the microwave for 10 more minutes. And uh, get ready to shoot her. I'm excited guys, this could turn out super sick. And she goes for another two minutes. Oh, and y'all who are like who have Facebook, y'all need to go join this group right here, Bass Slingers. Best group on Facebook by far. Because my deal is them is they post weekly challenges to really get you out of your comfort zone and try stuff you haven't tried before. So like one week it'll be a chatterbait, the next week it'll be a Senko, the next week it'll be a Texas rig or a fluke, or it'll be, you know, square bill or lipless or just they have something different every single week and then they challenge it you know you guys have a challenge against everybody else on the group and if you win you get a shout out and um, if you catch any bass I think over 20 inches uh, it goes and they have like a little record book that they put it in which is really cool as well but you have to weigh it over three pounds I think and then 20 inches long uh, it's what you, you can have either or for proof but it's super cool I think it's awesome um, Shout out to y'all, uh, Jay Fouta, if you're watching this, you're awesome, I love you so much for sending these stickers. I got one there, and I got one on the yak, if you guys can see it, yak's freaking disgusting right now, but. Alright, let's get back to uh, getting these things going. Got 46 seconds. Alright guys, so this kind of turned out like a pea yellow looking color, I was hoping it'd be clear, but the way it's looking, it is looking super yellowy, but hey, that might be the color of the, you know, 
the deal. So we got our salt in it. We've got our colorant, our glow in the dark color. So let's see what we got here and shoot our six inch Cinco's. Okay, that should work. Shoot our one beaver and make sure we keep up with that Senko mold because this thing sucks down some freaking plastic. I'm 100% confident that the beaver will turn out, but these Senkos, like I said, they are very, very, very tricky. I'm kind of, I'm starting to get them down, but they are they're hard to get all four, you know, a great color. But like I said, hopefully these turn out freaking dope. They'd be awesome to sell. You know, I could maybe put a patent on these or something. Be awesome because I know the whole thing is night fishing, guys. If you guys ever went night fishing, usually it's top water. But then I was like, what if they the fish could see the bait inside of the water, you know, at night if it's just glowing. And you know, the, uh, the angler fish and the salt water they use that fluorescent little bulb. The anglerfish in the saltwater ocean, you know, or like Atlantic Pacific, I don't really know where it's at, but it's really down deep dark. And, and they have the little dangly thing up there that has like the little fluorescent deal that glows in the dark. And the fish come over there to check it out and then he freaking snatches them. They look mean as hell. I'll go ahead and pop a picture up of one right there. And uh, hopefully we can kind of get them interested in that and try to eat it and then we can just smack them. So there will be a there will be a freaking video on these things, and hopefully we can catch some big bass at night because that'd be awesome. All right, y'all, so we'll give this one a little longer to cool because that's got four six-inch cinco's in it, so we already know that's going to be a little hot. So let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open because the beaver usually cools pretty dang quick. So hopefully it will be all right. Okay, it came out yellow. It came out good looking though, that's for sure. So let's go ahead and throw this blue piece out of there for some reason. It's in there. Okay, so put that back in there. There's our first finished product. I'm excited. Let's throw it up here to the light. It'll be way overexposed, but you kind of need it. Sorry. All right, let's go try her, guys. Let's go try her. So, it's not crazy, crazy bright, so I might need to dump some more colorant in there. But it still has a glow-in-the-dark effect in the water. I don't know how well they'll be able to see it, but I think I need some more color in there. Some more, some more bazinga, you know. So, let's go ahead and dump some more, uh, some more light in that, and uh, we'll see what we're at after that. Alright guys, here you go. There's the four Senkos that we poured. They all came out good looking. I held them up to the light for a little while. Let's go out here and see what we got. Oh yeah. Look at those, those are way better. Oh, so much better. Does that not look sick, guys? Look at that, look at the action. Oh my God, that is awesome, guys. Oh shit, this is gonna, we're gonna catch fish on these. I'll go out tomorrow and catch fish on these right here. Oh baby. All right, y'all, this turned out even more yellow this time. So hopefully we put about three more scoops in than the last batch. I'm just gonna go ahead and suck all of this up if we can. Hopefully. Okay, let's go ahead and put this bad boy on there. About, we had about, we have about half the plastic with twice as much uh, razzle dazzle, the, the freaking glow in the dark colorant. So, with that being said, hopefully these Senkos turn out all right. I, the beaver always turns out, so I just really want to use a Senko. Looks like it's already ready for more, too. No, I don't think it's going to turn out very good. So we might just have to scrap that and redo it, but that's no biggie. No biggie, no biggie. Here's the whole handful of baits we got made. Look at this, it's already freaking glowing up. Some of them are definitely brighter than the others, but... They all glow. 
they all do their job. But some of these definitely need a little longer. I think it's the darker yellow ones because the clear ones are freaking just bam, bright as hell. So I think I should stick with the eighth teaspoons. To, what is it, three eighth teaspoons for this batch. But yeah, super cool. Well guys, that is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and uh, kind of learned something slash found something out that was super cool to me, super new to me. I've never done anything like that before and uh, I've never seen it done. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Hit the like button. That's almost just as important as hitting the subscribe button. Probably more important is to hit that like button if you guys would not mind. And uh, we'll see you in the next Fat Basses episode. Peace out, homies.